Hey everybody, happy Monday. Hey, it is that time again here with you for with another episode of Solving mm-hmm. Your Stress mini series. So, so happy to be with you and uh, today I'm going to share a personal experience uh, that I just got back from. I spent an incredible bunch of days with some leaders in uh, the Colorado mountains and we pushed ourselves beyond what anybody thought our capabilities were and so we put ourselves uh, I'll speak for myself I put myself in the most stressful situation uh, that besides September 11th that I have ever been through in my entire life and what that looked like was hiking at elevation for 17 hours or so and we covered 18 miles and it's like hmm that doesn't sound like a lot but let me tell you something boulders called boulder for a reason (laughs) okay um and i just wanted to pass on you know what i learned because coming out of this i learned that i am capable of far more than i kind of let myself fall into like being under a stressful situation knowing that hey there's no way out of this except to climb up that mountain up and go over the to the other side Um, and it's the other side where I'm going to be able to relax a little bit and breathe better and my stress level is gonna come down so it started out really early in the morning we get up we don't leave till midday on Friday and um, uh, sorry on Thursday rather and we just take off and as we're as we're going you know the stress level starts building because you're in the unknown so what I had to do was I had to practice the three things that I talk about each week when I come to you live is detach prioritize and execute so as we're going up this hill and I'm breathing feels like for my life (laughs) and I had to literally take a second because my body was being overwhelmed by the stress and say okay Sam just breathe literally I told myself breathe you're okay so that's what I did I detached then I knew where the mission was taking me and I didn't look at it as I had to get all the way up the mountain I broke it down into how many people were ahead of me and how many steps I needed to get take to get up to the next person so I prioritized in my head I didn't let the overwhelming thought of oh my god I have to climb up this mountain and we we climbed a couple up and down up and down but what was standing right in front of me and then I executed on it and it was one foot in front of the other that's how you climb a mountain right it's like it's not complicated one foot in front of the other sucking wind but my mind was present at all times all you have to do Sam is take the next step look at the person ahead of you walk in those steps and that was a huge huge thing that helped me calm down and understand that despite being out in the wilderness in what some would uh, call an unsafe uh, place I actually was in a safe place because I was surrounded by like 20 people we were all in this together we all knew we were gonna make it through all of us had the same uncertainties and fear and the stress and it kind of it would feed and and it would come out of all of us at different times and the cool thing is that we could be there for each other because each of us dealt with what was going on in our head and that stress differently and we could pass it on and help the next person and a big thing with solving stress and being in situations that you've never been in before 
Um, Tony Robbins made this famous, standing on the shoulders of giants. And when you allow yourself to frankly, I had to learn to allow myself that it was okay to not be okay up here on this mountain. And, you know, that was the most difficult thing. I've been an athlete all my life. I'm like, so there was a no quit attitude, but there were points where it's like, gosh, darn it. You know, am I really going to be able to do this? Am I going to be okay? And I, and I just had to stay in that moment. So when you're again, feeling that stress and you're in a, just a hot mess of a situation where you feel you can't get out. Let me just tell you, it's okay to not be okay, but you can't stay there. And I looked to my partners on this amazing trek and I looked at their footprints and all I had to do was step into their footprints to help get me up the mountain. And it's like, you know, it's really emotional for me because I'm not used to relying on others. It's something that I've had to cultivate in me and work on uh, throughout my life. And it's so important to allow yourself to do that because when the stress gets really hard and you feel like shutting down and you feel like nobody cares, people are there. You can get through it if you just look in front of you if you pick up the phone, if you FaceTime, reach out to somebody that is has been through the crapper of life or that has experienced the same kind of stress that you're experiencing right now. Stand on their shoulders, let them help you, let them guide you, let them give you wisdom and how to make it through. And that's what I did this entire trek that we did. I was up, we were all awake this whole time uh, for more than 30 hours. And like I said, I came off of the mountain learning more about limits and, and realizing that stuff that where I thought my limit was, I, man, I pushed way beyond that. Okay, that is another huge lesson that I hope you take from that is when you think that you've reached your limit, oh, let me tell you something, there is a space that, is, that you can go that so far supersedes that. You just have to take the time to detach, prioritize and execute and get through the suck and get through it with the tears and get through the pain and get through everything because I promise you on the other side, you will utterly shock yourself. And uh, before things just get too crazy emotional, because I'm trying, I'm coming down off a lot of adrenaline and just trying to keep things together, I want to leave you with that. I want to leave you with just break through your barriers. There is no stressful situation that you're experiencing in your life that you can't get through. I swear to God, that is the truth. When I sat in my basement and I held that gun to my head because I, my PTSD had its claws in me so deep that I didn't think there was any other way out. Let me tell you something. There's always a way out. You just might not be able to see it. And that's why you've got to reach out, ask for help, anything. The people are there. Whether they're your friends that are really close to you, you can't reach them, great. Just call a crisis hotline, anything. I promise you the people are there and you will push beyond and create a brand new ceiling for yourself where you can look every day and say, dang, I made it through this. I can make it through anything. So until next week, I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Keep tuning in. I hope that this was super helpful. Um, and if you, you know somebody 
who needs to hear this message, go ahead and share it. And until next time, guys, I, I really, I, I just, I love you all. Thank you so much for being blessings in my life. Sam out.